Skyrim, Oblivion. Teabagging is considered sexual assault and rumours circling the new Nintendo Switch. Let's have a look then. Cyrodiil, she is ailing. For centuries, the home of the Empire has been a province of peace and prosperity. But behind all the beauty, a danger is brewing. Waiting for the opportunity oh, yes. to strike. Okay, look at the graphics. Render distances. Armor sets. Wow. Need I say more, guys? Need I say more? Oblivion inside Skyrim. I tell you what, right? I cannot wait for this beauty. I cannot wait, guys. If you're a fan of Oblivion and or Skyrim, please subscribe to this channel on YouTube because provided you have Skyrim and Oblivion installed on your PC and or laptop, once this mod is released, you're basically playing Oblivion inside Skyrim. The guys have been working on this mod since 2013. There's plenty of videos on the channel if you're curious. They haven't actually announced a release date yet, but as you can see, there's plenty of content just to see what they're doing, how they make the models, because the rules are they have to essentially remake the entire game inside Skyrim as a mod, obviously, to avoid copyright infringement uh, from Bethesda. To make the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion in the latest Elder Scrolls engine. While we are still a ways out, we hope that this series will show you how far one of the most ambitious modding projects of our generation has come. Most ambitious modding projects of our time. Well, yes, definitely. I, I guarantee when this is out, it's going to be award winning. I think it's award winning already, but it'll be award winning from a gameplay perspective, not a mod perspective. 100%. Mark my words, right? Mark my words. After watching a few videos myself, they've made a lot of improvements to the gameplay. Uh, they're putting in random stuff like Daedric weapons of special effects. Uh, they haven't really talked about too much how the magic is going to work because, as you know, in Skyrim you can key your magic spells, to, you know, in both of your hands. Whereas in Oblivion you have your own magic button. So if you wanted to, you know, use a two-handed weapon and magic, you could because you had a separate button for it. So they haven't actually explained that yet. Uh, not that I've seen anyway. And there's a lot of things they haven't actually explained. Like I say, they haven't confirmed when it's going to be out at the moment but they've said that the project is nearing completion it could be out next this year next year five years time who knows who knows they haven't said but i thought i'd give out the message because if you're interested next time you're on steam double check see if there's any special offers on skyrim and oblivion buy it cheap ready for when this mod comes out now on a more negative note teabagging is slowly being considered as sexual assault like what the fuck right so i don't know if you've seen it guys but there's a few print screens circulating the internet at the moment right so we'll have a look first and then i'll discuss right yep and then we get into games where people think it's okay to teabag and that that it's funny when really it's sexual assault if teabagging is sexual assault i'm a repeat sex offender fucking me too lock me up and throw away the key guys because fucking <laughs> i'm a bad boy I mean, it is sexual assault. If I do not consent and someone rubs their genitals in my face, that's sexual assault. Right, so let me let me just right, so let me just put it out there now. How fucking ridiculous this is. So you play let's say you're playing COD. Let's say you're playing Halo, right? The 3D model that you play as doesn't have rendered genitalia. So from a technical perspective, they're not rubbing anything on you. They're rubbing a fucking stump <laughs> on on your fucking head. <laughs> like, oh my, like, uh, let's continue, let's continue. I'm deeply sorry my reflexes made me resort to my in-game character, crouching on another in-game character's dead body because I shit on them very hard, and I would like to rub my gigantic chamber balls, well that's incorrect from a technical perspective, because they don't exist, in their face. I'll try very hard not to do it again. Oh, well, we can't, I can't comment on that because 
it's not a, it's not a correct statement. But listen to this, listen to this, right. So this is, this is just a Discord chat, but watch this guys, watch this. Riot Games may begin banning teabagging agents in Valorant. Banning them. If an individual doesn't like to be teabagged, it's their business, isn't it? It's a fucking game. You, you, you know, if, if the opponent has the ability to spam circle over your body, it's on you. It's in the game mechanics. If you don't like it, play a different game. That's not all. That's not all, guys. Apex Legends Pro banned from tournament for teabagging teammates. <laughs> oh my, like, this is fucking beyond now. This is insane. It's like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to people who feel that they're being sexually assaulted in a fucking game with no rendered genitalia. <laughs> it's like, when I get teabagged, I don't mind. I think it's funny. Now, please remember, guys, this is a bit of fun in games, right? You know, it is a free world. You are entitled to free speech, and I'm expressing my opinion, right? You know, fair enough, you get butt hurt by playing a game and someone's fucking celebrating on your body, whatever. It's your life, you know? Do you like? The companies that manage online tournaments are getting involved, you know what I mean? Like, when, from a technical perspective, it's not assault. I mean, like, objectively, to you, to the to the individual, it may be assault, but categorically, it's not assault, because there's no rendered genitalia. The fun you have should be relevant to the capabilities of the game you are playing. If your character has the ability to squat up and down very quickly, carry on. If he has the ability to jump up and down quickly, carry on. If he can dash left and right quickly, if he can emote, if he can taunt, provoke, whatever. If it's in the game, leave him to it. If they don't like it, play a different game. Sorry. Simple as that. Look at games like For Honor. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> For Honor, right? If you get upset by teabagging, For Honor is not for you. Because you'll have him dancing over your corpse, fucking jumping up and down, squatting on you, fucking throwing their weapons out, uh, oh, it'll piss you off. It's not the game for you. I would not recommend it. it wait, they can execute you in funny ways, take the piss, like, uh, oh, don't, don't even touch it, right? Because you will be upset, I'll tell you that now. But yeah, guys, I think I've made my point clear. I better stop talking about it because I'll ramble on all day and we don't want that, right? And we don't want that. But this needs to be addressed. It, like, there needs to be something concrete here yeah, because, pff, insane. Insanity. But on a more positive note, Nintendo Switch is to launch a new Switch Pro later this year with 4K support. So, that, it's, uh, I say good news, uh, they've released an article, uh, I got it here, uh, saying that, so it won't be this year because they've had problems with supply, right, production problems. So it won't be this year, but the good news is they are going to be making a, a new Switch Pro that everyone has been waiting for this. Like, in my opinion, the, the, you know, the Switch is going to be the main console for a long time. I, I'm going to assume at least five more years. I think, well, three to seven. Three to seven years. It'll be, you know, the main console. So, in my opinion, right, they should just milk it. They should just milk it. Like, if I, if I was them, just make it ten years. Make it 11, 12 years, right? And just do what they did with the PS Pro and the, uh, the PS4 Pro and the PS4. You know, just have... If you get higher graphic games, just set them to 30 FPS cap, you know, to promote the newer console. And then the newer console can have 60 FPS at higher, you know, higher resolution games. And then just milk, milk the crap out of the Switch console, Switch, right? They should have made some sort of Nintendo hub, right, where all 3DS, Nintendo Switch, Wii, Wii U, you know, all these emulations of old games, uh, old consoles, Nintendo 64, which they have done, to be fair, but I mean a more broader spectrum, right? And just cram it all into their one main console. Charge a premium for it, uh, separate purchases, whatever, and just make it such, make it the main, the absolute biggest console ever. That's what I feel that they should have done a long time ago. But yeah, I thought, I thought I'd check it out there, so a bit of good news. Keep an eye out for next year. If you're interested in a Switch Pro, it'll probably be quite expensive, I'd imagine, if it's 4K support. And it's a, the Pro version, so it's going to be a lot stronger in terms of graphical power, uh, processing power, whatever. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Sorry to get a bit personal on the whole teabanging thing, but like I say, I am worried uh, where we're going with this, you know. So I'll catch you in the next one, guys. And as always, all the best. Take care.